So again, he got stabbed maybe four or five times, three times in the leg and on the side here. He's alive. Now, uh, in many interviews done with people who've gotten stabbed, and uh, I personally know some people, I myself, I've been involved in a few knife fights. I was cut across the chest once, cut across the arm once, hacked with a broken beer bottle across the top of the eye here once, and I didn't realize I was cut. There's this one time, uh, one of the most, anyway, I got into a big, big situation. It was a four on one. Uh, I was the one, and one of the guys ended up breaking a beer bottle. Okay, and he broke the beer bottle and he swung at me. He's coming at me literally like this. This was a beer bro broken beer bottle. For those of you who think that you know, well, this is really telegraphic. Well, the guy was coming at me with an incredible amount and intense level of rage. And he's coming at me like this. I mean, super fast and super hard with a, a, a jagged edged beer bottle. Now, the, 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 the edge of the beer bottle, the very first swing he did, cut me right above the eye over here. And it began to bleed profusely, but what had, what had happened earlier, about 10 seconds before that, is I had dropped his friend, and I busted my beer mug on the guy's face. I mean, I just hacked him, okay? And the guy dropped, and there was blood everywhere from the guy whose, whose face I shattered with the beer mug, and then the other guy came and hacked me, so it started bleeding profusely. I didn't even feel the cut. Largely due to adrenaline, largely due to the fight or flight syndrome, largely due to the fact that, you know, I also have a certain pain uh, threshold tolerance. However, I didn't know I was cut until when I was finished the fight, when I finished all four guys, this was in a bar, and I stood up, and I saw behind the bar, there's like where all the beer bottles are, a huge mirror, and I looked up and I saw blood all over my face. And I did this, and I only realized then that, wait a minute, this is my blood. <laughs> uh, uh, but the thing is, is that it was a very small cut, and cuts on the top of the head, like around the corner of the eye or the top of the head, they bleed a lot and profusely, especially in a situation where you got your adrenaline rushing and all the blood's pumping through your body at a wicked pace. So you're going to bleed a lot more, and you bleed a lot more, especially from extremities, feet, toes, fingers, hands. And, and, and the corner of the eyes, top of the head. Um, but the, th the whole thing about it is, was the guy came at me so fast with this jagged edge and swing so hard that I didn't even realize I was cut. There's another guy I know uh, who was involved in a fight, and what happened was he's talking with the guy, blah, 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 argument. So it ended up that the guy he was arguing with, he was having the encounter and the confrontation with, pushed away and said, okay, man, fuck it, forget it, blah, blah. And he walked away. And he's walking away, he's heading back to his friends thinking, okay, he verbally diffused the situation. And then he started feeling really faint and dizzy. And then he looked down and there was blood all over his shirt. Okay? And then he passed out. And it turned out, at the close, come here a second, Eddie. At the close range, when these guys were arguing, his opponent had a knife, apparently a very sharp one, and stabbed him twice. And then said, it's okay, man, don't worry about it, and walked away. He didn't even realize he was stabbed till later. Another time, Another situation, another story is that one of the instructors here, Mark St. Marie, a friend of his, they were at a bar, they got into a big fight occurred. At the end of the big bar brawl, his friend came and sat down to talk in, and Mark is staring at his friend going, you know, and his friend's going, whoa, what's the matter, what's the matter? He had a fork, believe it or not, a steel fork sticking out of his head. He was stabbed, I mean, it was maybe, you know, like the tip of it, but it, it, it got wedged and stuck right in the guy's head. He didn't even realize he was stabbed in the skull by a fork. So a lot of the times, you won't realize with your adrenaline going um, that you may have gotten cut or stabbed. Hundreds of interviews with law enforcement officers, officers cop, cops, uh, where, they real, where they recount a situation in a close quarter combat situation where they couldn't shoot and they're trying and they're, you know, they're fighting the guy. They didn't even realize their opponent or the perpetrator had a knife and the cop is saying, I'm wrestling with the guy and we're rolling, and all of a sudden I see blood everywhere. And so he's thinking, I thought I shot him, and only after did he realize that he never shot the perpetrator. It turned out he was stabbed like four or five or six times in the back. So you gotta be very careful with that. Understand that in your training, that even if you're getting stabbed and you're getting cut, don't stop, don't hesitate, don't, pro don't program that failure, don't program limitation, on the contrary, Program success, program survival.